So you want to make Windows 10 fast again, or at least feel fast like it was the day you installed it. I'll show you what I do on a weekly basis pretty much. I'll pull up my start menu, and if I have any live tiles that are on, I'll turn them off. Most of the time though, I don't have any live tiles because I've uninstalled them through PowerShell. But if you have them, you can just right click them and turn them off so that they're not running. Then I'll pull up the task manager, go to the startup tab, and make sure that every single program is disabled for startup with Windows. Because I don't need these programs starting with Windows, I'll choose when to start them whenever I open them. So that's another thing that I'll do. Just right click, disable, and then you're good to go. It won't start the next time Windows does. I'll pull up control panel, go through programs and features, and I'll uninstall any programs that I've noticed that I haven't really used in a while. Because any program that's installed on your computer that you really don't use, you don't really need. Or you can install at a later point anyway. So go ahead and just right click, uninstall, and let it do its process. And it'll, it'll take it right off of there. This is something I touched on before, but I will use PowerShell as well, along with some commands here. I have a link in the description for a video as to how to do this, but I'll show you with the example of Windows Maps. Now, I don't have Windows Maps, so it did not remove Windows Maps. But things like that that you could otherwise not uninstall, PowerShell will let you uninstall them. Close programs that you really aren't using at the time. Uh, you don't need a bunch of programs open because that uses RAM, memory, CPU usage. Also when you close them, check Task Manager and just make sure that uh, they're not still running in the background. If they are, right click them and end task and it will take care of them uh, so that they won't be running, taking up memory and things like that. Then I'll pull up System, go to Advanced System Settings and then under the Performance Options, pretty much mirror these settings. You can always go back to adjust for appearance or performance, but I go custom, select these five options here. I have no noticeable differences in the way Windows looks, and it runs so much better. Under the advanced tab, select for adjust for best performance of programs, and then also under virtual memory, if you have a second hard drive, you can do this step. Take the paging file off of your main hard drive, and then go ahead and add it to your secondary hard drive. I'll show you here how I do it. It's already set up, so mine's already done, but I'll just go through the steps. I pretty much always go with four gig and eight gig min and max. Set, okay, apply, okay, and that makes those changes there so it's not on your main drive, it's on your secondary drive. Next, this is something that pretty much everyone should be doing anyway. I do this weekly, sometimes I'll do it daily if I'm bored, but uh, right click on your, your drive, your C drive, hit disk cleanup allow it to search for things that are not necessary I will select every single box on this left hand side I have never had any bad effects from doing so and I will delete every single file that Windows notices that can be cleaned up I'll then go back and do it one more time because I like to clean up the system files because those were not grouped together with the original files that it found at first and it finds some additional files. This will contain things like Windows Update files and things like that that are just not necessary to be sitting on your computer. So apply, OK, and then it will delete those files from your computer as well. Next, click Tools under the same window and under the Optimization for Optimized Drives. For SSDs, you can trim them by clicking Optimized right here. And then also for main or hard drive, just regular disk drives, you can defrag them, which takes a little longer, but it is necessary if you haven't done it in a while. Now I have this set up to do this weekly. You can schedule it here to do it daily, weekly, or monthly. Weekly is fine. I think that's default. It's set up that way anyway. Choose the drives you want it to do it weekly for and then set that up. Next, under the Device Manager, make sure you scan for any hardware changes if you haven't restarted your computer in a while. Update drivers uh, to make sure that you're running the current uh, most up-to-date driver for any and all hardware on your computer. And also check and make sure you don't have any exclamation points or question marks beside any devices as you'll need to find the drivers for those because Windows doesn't know what they are. Next, Windows 10 does update automatically by itself, but sometimes I'll come in here and check for updates anyway, and look at there. Found a Windows Defender update. 
that's pretty important to make sure that my computer stays up with the latest virus standards and things like that. It's not going to make my computer faster, but it is necessary to keep that stuff up to date. Speaking of viruses, if you have any type of malware or virus, it could slow your computer down. So go ahead and get you a program like Windows Defender. It comes with it. You can just search it. Or Malware Bytes is a great one. Scan the computer using Malware Bytes. It does take a little bit of time depending on the size of the disk uh, or the drive you have and the amount of space that's being used on the drive. Go ahead and just minimize that and let that run. And also the other alternative like I was speaking about is the Windows Defender, which is built in. You can scan with that as well. This one's a bit different. Uh, this is clearing up the folder cache. Recent folders that you've searched uh, for or files and things like that, folders that you've been in, you can clear that and it will help a little bit as far as speed. But you just click right here under privacy under the folder options and clear out that folder cache. Privacy settings is a big one for me. Just search for settings and privacy. Pretty much turn all this stuff off unless you have something that needs the camera, turn it on, like Skype. A good example of when to turn something on is uh, like me here, Xbox app. I use that on my computer, so I have to turn the microphone on. And also here with the background apps. Things should not be running in the background if you don't need them. So turn all that stuff off, I leave Xbox on because I use the Xbox app. But yeah, pretty much just turn all of that stuff off. After you've done that, after it's defragged, after it's finished scanning, it's uh, for any type of malware or anything like that, you're free to close down any of those programs and then give your computer a restart. Let it restart and things should be much quicker than they were before for you. These are things that I do. This is how I make Windows 10 stay fast. That's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching.